good afternoon, dear children. Today I have come with a new lesson that is from Moment, Lesson of Why, The Happy Prince. Very interesting story, very interesting story. Really, when I was in the college days, that time I had this lesson in my graduation level. But now, here for you, uh, in the ninth standard, you have this lesson. So very interesting story. So we'll come. Today we'll see uh, the characters and a complete summary about, a short summary about this lesson. So here, how many characters are there? The especially the two characters are there. That is, you know, um, the happy prince, a beautiful statue. And the second one is the swallow. Swallow, a bird. Okay, bird, it's a migrant bird who sacrifices life to or uh, helping the prince. So, okay, who has written this story? The, written, the story is written by Oscar Wilde. Which story is written by Oscar Wilde? The short information about the author Oscar Wilde. Born on 16th October 1854 and died 30th November 1900. Was an Irish playwriter, novelist, essay assist, essay, those who write essay and poet. He became fluent in French, French and German in his early life. After university, while moved to London into fashionable cultural and social social circles. After writing in different forms for the 1880s, he became one of the London's most popular playwrights in the early 1890s. Oscar Wilde, Oscar, Oscar Wilde had written many playwrights. Okay, at the turn of 1890s, he refined his ideas about the supremacy of of art in a series of dialogues and essays, and incorporated themes of decadence, duplicity, and beauty into his only novel. Beauty into his only novel. The picture of Dorian Gray in 1890, he, in 1890, he is remembered for his epigrams novel plays as well as the circumstances of his imprisonment and uh, imprisonments and early death. He had, he, Oscar Wilde had written many um, Poems also, he has written essays and the playwrights, and he was very famous in those days in early 1890s. Now we'll come to our uh, this one um, theme of the story. What is the theme of the story? This happy prince. The theme of the story is very important. That is, I have written here say outward beauty is nothing. Outward, the uh, person's outward beauty, that is a physical appearance, is not that much, uh, not important, not that much, no, not important, you know, that is not uh, important. If you have the qualities inside, so both the things are there, well and good. But the theme is, the first thing is, outward beauty is nothing. And the second is, the real beauties are love and sacrifice. Real beauties are love and sacrifice. Okay. And the third is there is a great gap between rich and poor. In this story, it is, it is uh, they have given the difference between rich and poor. Okay. Now, here we come to, uh, as I said, two characters, the main happy prince and the second one is the swallow, the bird, migrant bird. You know, uh, in few uh, seasons, the birds, they mig migrate because of their coldness and because of their uh, environment, uh, climate, climate of those uh, country or city, they migrate 
thousands and thousands kilometer away from one place to another place. Okay, that one of that migrant bird is this swallow in this character. Okay, the first is the statue of the happy prince. The statue of a happy prince, small summary, short summary, I will tell that a statue, you know, the statue of a prince is installed at the top of, uh, top, top, uh, at the top, at the top of all tall columns. A statue was there and at the very tall column. He was a real prince, once he was a real prince. Okay, and when he was a real prince, he prince, you know, the king and queen's son is prince. Nothing, every, all the things are ready made. And he ignored, you know, kept ignored that what is there outside the world, outside the palace, what is there. He was ignored, uh, ignorant for about uh, all this, uh, all that uh, things. And when he was uh, alive, he was very happy. All the things, uh, what he wanted was the thing. Then after, you know, he kept ignorant of his uh, of any sadness and real life, outward uh, real life. And uh, his life was once very happy and he was very joyful. And once upon his day, after his day, then the statue made in the center of the city in a very tall column. And it was adored, you know, that statue was adored, depicting him, which was covered in gold, had beautiful sapphires for eyes and uh, uh, rubies uh, in his, uh, on his uh, sword. Okay, you attached to the handle of sword because of the value of society places on gold and jewels. He was thought to be quite beautiful. After his death, the statue was installed in a very tall column and it was uh, uh, depicted, you know, it was uh, given the sword uh, with the gold uh, eyes with the sapphire and all in that statue was also looking very uh, happy and little smile was also there uh, on his lips. Okay, unless remark the town councillor, but the, then after what happened, when he was in the column, he saw, because it was, it was a very tall column, and he saw that uh, miserable condition of that place, of that area, of that country. And uh, he felt very sorry for that. He felt very uh, sad when he saw all the miserable condition of that area because his father was king and what happened he was boarded by all who see him unfortunately for the statue his placement a talk of high hills allows him to witness for the first time the pain and the miserable experience by the poor of the city of whom he had remained ignorant when he was alive. So what happened? Then the uh, second, the happy prince desires. What was the happy prince desires? You know, the statue of the happy prince sees all the misery. When he saw that all the seizes, all the miserable condition, he thinks that uh, let me do something for them. He couldn't bear that. Then his desire was there to help those poor people. Okay, so and the misery of the city. He weeps when he sees people in trouble and wanted to help. So his desire was uh, his need to help the poor people when he sees that miserable condition of those. Then what happens? Then after that, the swallow arrives inside the swallow as a misery. As, as I said, in cold condition, few birds, thousands and thousands of kilometers, you know, they migrate. They change their places to other countries. You know, in our India also, many birds come. Okay, so in this way, this statue, once the statue, 
once happy, now weeps with the sadness, sees the plight when he saw that, you know, and the swallow become the statues. Then this migrant bird, when all the group of the birds, when they were migrating, one of the birds, he, for, to take overnight thought, he, uh, they, he went on the statue and he has taken rest there uh, on their, on that statue and when he saw that you know at overnight one you know the tears of the draw comes and fell on uh, Swallow's body then he think the weather is very clear from where this uh, rain come so then he realized so this statue then he when he saw that that bird saw that prince is cry the tears rolled away from his eyes then he uh, he said that the needed financial security and compassion to the needy people sent by the prince this needy needy people include then their conversation you know then he asked, the Salo asked, uh, Prince, what happened to you? Why you are crying? Then the statue said, the happy prince said that, he when I, I saw this miserable condition, I couldn't bear, it's very sad for me. And I saw there a poor girl who is barefoot and without a, covering for the head in winter. In the winter season also many poor people are there. They don't have clothes to cover. And who is given the other supper? And in this way, you know, when he saw all the condition, one by one, um, he uh, told that uh, bird to take out one one because that is adorable that is was the rubies and the sapphires were there on his body then what happened then uh, swallow was the messenger messenger means you slow he helped pro prince happy prince to give away all the um, precious gold from his body then he saw he saw the poor girl then he took out the sapphire. Then he saw the many people, they are, uh, they don't have anything, you know. Many scissors, they saw money, barefitted, ill child is there, who is given the ruby. The young man, the second thing, the young man, who is poor, too poor to buy a coal, you know, in the winter, they need the coal to keep warm. That coal for his uh, fireplace in the winter, who is given again the sapphire. And the poor young girl who is barefoot and without a covering, clothes, clothes the, for the health in winter, who is given the other sapphire. Like this, one and the other, all the gold, all the rubies, all the sapphire given away from his statue uh, to the poor by swallow, by this migrant bird. Then, after that, when all the things over, then Sapphire and all has taken everything from his eyes. Then Swallow said, now this is not my, he tried, Swallow tried many times to migrate. But he insisted, the happy prince insisted, it, that bird, no, not to go, see poor people are there, please help me for this. So he was the um, swallow, it was there only. And one by one, all the rubies, all the gold, all the precious uh, uh, diamonds, and it was giving. The prince was telling to this uh, oh, bird, and it was me. Once he couldn't see, then swallow th thought, no, it is not correct time to go. I cannot leave happy prince alone here. And it was so cold days, those days, you know, and by frost in frozen, that swallow died on his feet, you know, between the place of, between the two, you know, when statues are there, between statue, place was there, between two uh, legs, there he died, swallow died. And when he realized that, happy prince realized that, now Swallow is no more, he also broke. And you know, he broke it and 
when he also broke, the swallow also died, then what happened? Early in the morning, the mayor, the main councillor of that, you know, was taking ground in the city. Then he, he saw, uh, sees that the statue is broken. All the rubies and the gold and everything, nothing was there on his uh, body. Then that he took that uh, body and put in the furnace but it was not uh, uh, melted it was not melting then it that put then the god see the two the most precious thing then the god says that said the angel that go go and see who uh, which are the precious things are there in the city go and get me the two pre precious things from the uh, that city angel angel came down and had taken the two precious things the two precious things were the one is broken heart the laden heart heart of a happy prince and the so, le, bird the swallow these are the two you know two the god asked for two precious things two precious things god asked for one of his angels to bring him the two measure of precious things in the city the angel brought laden heart of the happy prince and the dead swallow these two were the very precious things in that city um, so swallow. God praised the choice of angel. God appreciated. God praised the choice because the two precious things. Why these two? Why only these two things were precious? Yes, we have seen here the theme of the story. The beauty is nothing. If you have the beauty, beauty with gold, beauty with everything, but if you are not helping anyone, what is the use of that? beauty and the second is real beauty is not the main is love and sacrifice that that love and sacrifice angel saw that the love and sacrifice within this uh, happy prince and the swallow and that uh, special swallow god said that the little bird would sing forever in his garden of paradise and the happy prince would praise him for in each city of the world you know this is a story so god kept that bird for singing for singing in his paradise and the other thing the priest would praise him forever prince will praise him forever in the in his city of the gold of gold so these are the two precious things and very beautiful story written by oscar wilde so in the next lecture dear children dear children we'll see the paragraph wise summary of this lesson read this lesson very carefully by tomorrow's lecture you know and next you will come to know the complete story very interesting and very good story by written by Oscar Wilde. Thank you and have a nice day.